How would you like to learn step by step the entire process for creating a mini comic? Well, I created a course that does just that, and right now that course is being offered absolutely free. <laughs> Greetings everyone, welcome to the Underground Lab where we bring our creations to life. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. I'm a professional illustrator, designer, and mad creator. I also create comics. It is a huge passion of mine. Uh, in fact, my comic book, Young and the Dead, I'm going to be launching a Kickstarter for it in the next two or three weeks, so just be aware of that. But I've been making comics for a long time. I've been talking about making comics on this channel, and I always get people that are just a little hesitant to get started, or they just can't, they don't know where to begin. And I think really one of the best ways to get started is by starting with a mini comic. Mini comics are just a great entry point for getting started making comics and whether you're a beginner or a seasoned professional I still make mini comics. Some of the best comics I have in my collection are mini comics because they're they've just had that hand you know a hand created touch to it you know you can feel the artist you know every you know it's just it's it's very personal when you create a mini comic and like I said it's it's very easy to do because you don't have to worry about you know fancy printing techniques or anything like that you can do pretty much whatever you want so let me show you a few examples from my collection like I said I've got a huge collection of mini comics but we'll just start here this is from what was really cool uh, this is a mini comic bundle so this was a subscription service yeah this subscription model for mini comics was just a brilliant idea and this one's from Eric Guzman and Jason Alexander uh, teaming up to do these books really cool I really enjoyed getting these in the mail and these are just little eight page mini comics made from a single sheet of paper I've got a whole course that's gonna show you how to do that like I said it's free I'm gonna talk about that in a minute but I want to show you some more examples here here's another one as you can see as I'm showing these they're all different sizes and these are just this this a comic like this can be done just at a you know a copy shop you just dr draw it design it and they've got color paper that they can print at a copy shop this is you know talking about all different skill levels this is one from Roger Langridge who is a, a you know just an amazing artist he's worked on properties like well he's got his own creator own stuff but he's he's worked on the Muppets and he's just worked on tons of stuff just amazing artist and you know he's still making mini comics just even at his level so it's not just for beginners it doesn't matter where you are here's another one this is for my friend Holly Brown this is and this is like a, a two-color comic and I don't know if this is this may be screen printed it definitely looks screen printed I don't I can't remember the process she did but that's that's one I got from her, another friend of mine, Din Man, who sent, he does, I mean, he's really prolific. He does tons of these mini comics. But as you can see, you know, color paper on the inside, a different color on the outside. Here's a mini comic called War by Mark Rudolph. And it, it, it looks like it's probably like print on demand or it's professionally printed, but then took the extra step to go in and make this little band around it to add that personal touch. So you can sort of use a hybrid method if you want. Um, here's another one. This is look how thick this one is. This one's from Brandon Dayton. This is a mini comic called Green Monk. Uh, again, this is probably professionally printed, but as far as the size, it's definitely done in like a mini comic size. Another one from my friend Den Man. Uh, this one's Space Monsters. Again, he loves to just take advantage of the, that that color paper that you can get at your coffee shop. This is called I Dare You. This is by Sarah Turner. She does some really interesting stuff. This is a ghost story, and let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see this, but she does these little transparency sheets in here because she's dealing with ghosts. I, I don't know if you can see the little monster, but then it's overlaid over the rest of the comic, more of a landscape format. So you can go, you know, almost any way you want. This one here is for my friend Jeremy Burley. This is more of an ash can. So he puts these comics out, but he'll, he'll do like these little previews where they put, he, before the comic's done, he'll put it out just to give people a, just an idea. And it also makes a good collector's item. These ash cans can be really collectible. Um, because it's it's sort of the preview what happens usually before the actual comic and then myself uh, I do mini comics too and as you can see uh, I cut all these by hand I mean I'm sure nowadays if I would do it I do it like on a Cricut machine or whatever which you know you can take it can get very crafty so if you're a crafty type person um, just think of all the different possibilities you can do different tools and everything really like I said I mean the, the world's your oyster when it comes to creating mini comics so as you can see the style and size and media it's all over the place you can do almost anything but at the core of making mini comics or any comics 
there, you know, there's a process to it. And I'm not, in this video, I'm not gonna go through that whole process because I have made an entire course on how to do that. I'm gonna show you where you can find that and you can watch it right now. It's being offered totally for free. Huge fan of mini comics and really it's because of their DIY nature. Speaking of DIY, I partnered a few months back with a company called DIY.org. They are an online learning platform for kids that just show, you know, kids how to do uh, pretty much anything. The library of courses they have are pretty much endless. There's courses on teaching you how to beatbox, uh, Minecraft, how to make YouTube videos, uh, engineering, you know, arts, crafts, everything you could think of, every subject under the sun, how to solve Rubik's Cubes, all that stuff. They've got it all there on DIY.org. Now when I created it, and I, you may have heard me talk about it before, but I created a course called Making Comics. And is it's, you know, in the end, what you're gonna end up doing in this course is you are going to create your own mini comic but the processes in creating this mini comic can be applied to any kind of comics whatever you're doing um, it, but this course you know it takes you step by step the full process and it goes through the history of where comics came from talks about the tools and the whole process for making comics and at the end you will be able to create a mini comic like this because basically what it is it is a single sheet of copy paper this is 11 by 17 on one side and then basically it's just folded up you know there's a whole technique and I go through it all in the course but it's folded up and there you got your mini comics so cool but yeah so you, the, I'm gonna show you the whole step-by-step -step process of how to create this particular mini comic and all the stuff in between the drawing the you know inking the the lettering the sound effects all that kind of stuff it's all in the course now when I originally created this course like I said it's for the learning platform DIY.org and there, it's a subscription thing you you join you pay X amount of money per month but the cool thing is now I just got to email they have switched to a freemium model now what that means is yes there is you can join up for a monthly fee to get extras but right now, but all the video content my course that that I created it's free you know you you and your family can sign up for it you can you can watch all these videos for free including my comic and it doesn't cost you anything and then if you decide you know it's kind of like in-app purchases in a game that's sort of the freemium model where you play the game for free and if you want extras then you can offer that but it's not required so you can go join I'll put a link in the description where you can like I said your family can join you can check out the course and then if your kids are enjoying it and they want they want more out of it then you can you know you can pay I think it's like a uh, like an eight dollar a month fee and then they can participate in challenges earn badges you know just it's just a really cool network and it's safe for kids and so definitely check that out and you know my course like if you want to watch it with the, as a family my course is you know it, if even if you're if you're older you're gonna learn something from it it doesn't like talk down to kids or anything like that it's just pretty straightforward information on how to create comics and like I said at the end you'll be able to create a mini comic and then from there you know you don't have to stop here you can you can create like I've got tons of different mini comics you saw all these different examples of all the different mini comics you can make but it starts with that process of you know everything from coming up with your ideas to plotting things out writing the story drawing it uh, and then I, all you know basically all those steps in between so and it's all right there in the course so I just think it's really cool right now that they're they've kind of switched to this freemium model where all their courses and and it's not just mine I mean if you want to learn how to do anything you know if your kids are really inquisitive and want to learn how to do stuff it's all right there on DIY.org so I'm gonna leave a link definitely check that out check out my course I think you're gonna dig it I think you'll learn something from it but uh, yeah I, I, I am a huge fan of mini comics as I've said probably multiple times and I've done a number of videos talking about mini comics but I just want more people to create mini comics so I'm glad this course is out there now for free so everyone can check it out and start making mini comics because we really need more of these in the world because uh, I want to read more of these and I, my collection is growing and I just you know I anytime I see cool mini comics I just want to snatch them up because there's so much love put into them so if you love this let me know in the comments sections let me know do you collect mini comics uh, and uh, yeah I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say and I will see you later that is all
Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me at Surfworks on social media. And now you can support the work that I do on Patreon. Do you like making comics? Then go to Surfworks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.